Good morning. Josh here, Dartmoor Reach Alpaca Farm. Uh, as you might be able to guess from my um, head attire, today I'm doing some chainsaw work, some hedge trimming. Um, <clears throat> I am going to, I'll show you. This is one of our hedges at the farm. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to trim it back because you can see down there where it's grown out so much that it's just taking up so much land and it's amazing if um, when you start trimming hedges back how much of your land you can reclaim um, and you don't realise how much you've lost from the hedges growing out until you trim them back. Um, <clears throat> so the idea is to trim all these back and I actually kind of worked out um, a couple of years ago that if I trimmed all the hedges back that we have um, because they've grown out for so long way before I bought the land if I trimmed them back to our boundary I'd probably gain about half an acre um, across our land so um, it's well worth doing uh, this is a not a very nice hedge lots of thorn in there black thorn a um, bit of oak but yeah, it's mainly a thorn head, so it is going to be um, hard work. Lots of cuts. Lots of um, thorns for Natalie to get out of my hands later. Lots of splinters. But um, yeah, it'll be um, a really good job done come the end. I will now put you on time lapse. So we're cracking on quite well here. Well, <laughs> I say quite well, as well as you can with the thorn hedge. It is hard going. Um, lots of stuff to uh, yank out. It all gets very tangled and caught up in there. Uh, but one thing that I thought I would just mention quickly was all this stuff that I'm cutting down, none of these trees are being killed. These will all reshoot. Um, I'm coppicing some, I'm laying some to keep the hedge stock proof and uh, I'm leaving some still standing to preserve our screen from and privacy from the neighbours. So um, yeah, none of, none of this stuff is actually being killed. None of these trees are being killed. Um, if, uh, primarily what we're doing is um, reclaiming land and improving the stock proof hedge because the bits that I lay in are going to um, close any gaps in the hedge so theoretically the hedge will be more stock proof when the job's done than when I started um, yeah I'll carry on I just thought I would show you um, how much ground I'm reclaiming by trimming and laying this hedge. Um, <clears throat> show you what I've... So that's the hedge laid. This is all the stuff that's come off it, ready to be chipped up. And um, you can see here I'm creating sort of three meters from where the hedge used to be. It's all grown out so much that I'm creating another three meters um, of field. Um, and this hedge is probably 150 meters long. So um, what's that? 450 square meters. That's a lot of area to, um, is that right? Yeah, I think so. That's a lot of area to um, reclaim. Uh, of my land you know so um 
it's hard going it's certainly not an easy task but um, it's well worth doing uh, because of all the area that you create you know I'm looking at this now and thinking okay we'll uh, probably get some little glamping pods on here or something it's all sort of coming to me as I do the job maybe some small pods bunk pods or something like that um, low cost low cost to make so uh, yeah hard work but it's not raining and um, it's good exercise <laughs> This is really bloody hard going. <laughs> it's uh, so thick, blackthorn, brambles, just the worst. When, when I was a tree surgeon, this would just be the worst job to do. It's uh, oh, horrible. I'll just show you a minute. So you can see, I mean, look at all the all the um, bramble here it's just bramble or blackthorn all of which is hideous to try and pull out you just use so much energy trying to pull it all out but um, what can you do it's a job that needs doing and the good thing is that once this is done once this hedge is tidied up and laid um, it won't need doing like this again. It, hedges are just like anything else, they just need to be maintained. So when this is all laid in and um, uh, leave it for a year for it to sort of come back into leaf and grow a bit and sort of settle in and then we'll be able to just um, trim it with a tractor and flail, which is fine once the hedge is all nice and thick. Um, but yeah, this is hard work, bloody hard work. And I don't think I'm even a third of the way there yet. But there you go. Keep plugging on.